Hi, it's Eno. Today we have a Q&A session on the fundamentals of interlocking bricks. I hope you find this useful in answering your queries on interlocking bricks. ISSBs are interlocking stabilized soil bricks. These are sun-dried bricks that are made from a mix of red soil, cement, sand, water, and other construction aggregates. Uh, similar in that ISSBs are bricks too, but fundamentally different in that interlocking bricks are cured naturally by the sun and not in a kiln. And this makes interlocking bricks environmentally friendly. No, there are various types. Uh, there are ones with a sliding um, locking mechanism on the sides or at the top. And there are these ones which we make, which have the perforation uh, in the bricks, which allow stacking to go over, um, on top and also with a rebar, iron rebar to go in them where we pour the mortar. So um, these ones interlock as well as we use the iron rods to lock it and with the slurry to lock it as well. So this is the type we have with a round perforation. Okay, so they come in, interlocking brick come in various sizes. Um, our standard, the one we make is the six inch, the standard six inch one, which is um, six inches wide and 12 inches long. And that compared to a brick with, with next to a, a, a normal block, a normal concrete block, that's the difference. So that's about twice the, the, the height of a normal block, but it's uh, six inches wide and 12 inches long. Yes, ISSBs require less cement, less mortar, less iron rods, less concrete, less woodwork, and do not require plastering and less maintenance as compared to a building block. So yes, there is savings between interlocking bricks and a build building with blocks. But then if you're buying only bricks, you would, it would cost you more to buy bricks compared to blocks as bricks are smaller. And so you would need more bricks compared to blocks to cover the same amount of building space. So using natural materials such as the soil, using the sun to dry the bricks and also incorporating more sustainable um, composite alternatives in the composition of the bricks. Yes, they can be used in story buildings, but only up to three floors, I would say, without beams and columns, concrete beams and columns. If you're using concrete beams and columns and then use the bricks as infill, then you can go more than three story. Yes, you definitely can do that. Um, we have had clients that have used bricks as the exterior, as the boundary walls, and used the normal concrete block for the partitioning walls. So that is definitely possible. You can do that. Yes, there are definitely limitations. And the limitations are that you can't go up too high, more than three stories, as, as I mentioned earlier. And also you can't cover a defect. Once you have a defect on it, you can't cover it up. That's the, that's the limitations with interlocking bricks. So quicker building processes, um, cooler interior buildings can be used in sustainable building processes it's more um, earthquake resistant and you get a, a cost savings versus the normal traditional build.